first day elk hunting. We're out here in New Mexico, me and my dad with Justin, my co-host of Arrowhead Outfitters, and we have bulls screaming all around us, baby, sun up. So for a great couple days, man, we're in one of the best units in New Mexico. We walked right by them this morning, they're on the hill that we basically were walking up. They must have been either on top or they were back here in these circles around. So yesterday morning, I had a big herd of elk. They all filtered up this way in the morning bugled. So I came in really early, got ahead of them. So kind of also came into their way and just been waiting here more of an ambush style. But they're already back up in here. Don't know if they just didn't come back last night or the hot temperatures. Just they're already ahead of us. So there's a lot of elk bugling though. our fingers here. I mean, he's got his head down here. So, I mean, he's scoring. So. Yeah, think about this. I'm six more. Seven. Over seven feet. This was hundred. That's insane. There's a big bull in here. Check it out. Kind of, kind of rapper. Yeah, it sounds like he's like maybe on that peak in the red paint or something.
crazy dude. Yeah, really. Yeah, in the saddle. I told you every night we need to be here every night sit in this tank we're gonna get elk in here eventually and yeah if, especially you said it five days in a row seven o'clock p.m. it's a decent bull right there. that's the same bull no, that's it's a big, big five bull. my gosh that thing's huge dude that was the seventh no that was the yeah no, that was the seventh that was when he was in here he is a monster Told you, dude. Told you, he's a freaking toad of a bull. It's gonna score you know, 320. Yeah, five as a 5x5. Five five. Five. That's insane. You know? I mean, he's gonna score 320. Dude, yeah, his that's, force that's, uh, just like curved back to like, you talk about character bull. So, the only night that camera didn't get was the night. Night. And it was because no, there was, no. yeah, night. Yeah, there was no one there. And it was probably because there was mud on that lens. Yeah. And we were here there. It's no, the tenth, so. No. You were it didn't get the night. evening of the 8th. It didn't get the evening That's of the 8th. Right. The the we were here the, eighth. Eighth. You're you're here the last night. And we had elk. They just didn't make it all the way. We had that one Dude, bull here. you got to be here tonight. Oh, and you I, I told you, it's just a matter of time before before we, we get something at this water hole. So we just got to continue it. Yep. Sweet. Well, so it looks like we have a plan for tonight. <laughs> Pretty simple. Sit this water. Dad and Justin being here. And Dude, I don't know. I think I think for me and Matthew, that's not a bad idea either. There's no, a lot of no, they're both good there. waters. There's a lot of action up up there. So, no, they're both the two probably the two best waters to sit at right now. All right, well let's hike on back out of here and then go get some lunch and hike back in for the afternoon hunt. Yep. Sweet man, sounds like fun. Yeah. Got me that big five, dude. That is I mean, look how big around that tree is and look how high up. You got that, bro. It's a big bull. Sheesh. And this wasn't here when I came in that, on the second. This is our only. That's cool. That's a big tree in that. Six inch circumference tree. Yeah, homo. It's crazy. Nice. You guys should have one dead by 6, 6, 15 okay. anyway. For sure, for sure, for sure. And then we'll be just over this one canyon. Okay. We'll be up and then down, basically where that saddle is right here. Yep. The water hole is just on the other side of that ridge. So. Gotcha. Cool. Good luck, Good luck dude. Here. Sweet. Good luck. Kill 30. Yeah. Kill 30. Yep, kill 30. <laughs> Ride that little mini pony. Be my pack horse if I kill one. really funny our very first episode of season one I was hiking up this ridge right here same ridge and picked up a shed too and we came home with the bull that trip so signs signs exactly down over the water hole. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yes, dude, yeah. Yes, okay, dude, we are. We're gonna back up and start heading that way. Dude, dad's got a bull, baby. It's his first bull, that is so crazy. What's so awesome about this too is we hunted this unit in season one, episode one. And this is season five, episode 51. I killed my bull on day two. Now we're off from, it was my first archery bull. Now we're back here, episode 51 on day two and dad killed his first archery bull. It's just like sometimes, you know, you forget about all these little cool things. And I think just, it's like, I just believe that God just brings you back in these little, little time pieces like this to just remind you and center you and get you back to on track what you need to be doing. Dude, this is awesome. We gotta get up there. I don't even want to hunt the rest of the night. We're just gonna go. <laughs> we are just gonna go. Oh, dude, I can see it. I basically just ran a four minute mile to get here. Heck yeah, man. Yes. Finally. Man, this is the boy you took a picture of on Tuesday. Was it Tuesday or Wednesday? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Good job, guys. What t what time was it? Like 6:50 ish. Nice. We we yeah. we guessed you were gonna kill a bull at 6:34, so we were pretty close. <laughs> oh, we got worried at 6:30. Like they're late. They're late. <laughs> no, we we were. No, it was uh, about six. It was about 6:40 ish. Okay. And back we were we close. Here, <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. That is a bull, man. Look at that, dude. Nice, uh, Just look at the length of the second. I mean, all yeah, of it. Yeah, this is the short one. I don't know why that third is short, but it's so weird. But I mean, dude, that's like, look at the length of that no, third good. over there. That second's like 20, second. 22 inches, yeah. 24 that's inches. That's that one I took a picture of on the hill. Right? Yeah, that, that's what's cool. Long long front. This is the one that I showed you in the truck to drive down, and you're like, oh, I'd love to shoot that one. Yeah. Here you are holding them. You had them, but it was it was pretty cool. Yeah. And then when when he shot, I said, taxidermy bills, baby. You're gonna have to go sneak and get a second set. I mean, we weren't sure because I mean it looked good, but his other shot. I uh, do look at that. It stood about where the code is. Where it came okay. out. Nice. Where you're already laying down. Right. Have you taken any photos yet? We you took some with cell phone and with my video cam. Did you get it on video? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Of course we got it on video. I <laughs> hope so. Awesome. And, and, and cut to video. <laughs> of course. Well, we just arrowed our first archery in New Mexico bull. Greg finally got his redemption and got his first bull down and it's a pretty great bull. We first had a 5x5 five five coming in and then all of a sudden out of nowhere his bull screeched down and that 5x5 five five got really scared. Started taking up off the hill and I knew it was going to be a bigger bull and sure as heck a nice 6x6 nice six six come in, give us a shot, we took it, hit him a little low but in the end he was hit pretty hard, so he didn't go very far. You got your second shot in? Good. He can't go nowhere. Yeah. Good job, Greg. Congratulations. Nice bull. He's freaking have to go die and all this stuff. Yeah, he actually came right into it just to... Pretty. Yep, that's the bull I saw the other other morning when I was Thank in you, here. Justin. Good job, Greg. Glad it worked out.
like, I'm gonna let him go. Close. 40. Right at 40. I could, as as when, I when he was coming, I, I was gonna draw back, but I could see he wasn't as what I wanted, so I was like, I'm not gonna draw back. Yeah, when he was, that was I, exciting. I could see him, but then I just stopped calling because yep. we, you know, we were too tight. I was like, yeah. I saw him kind of around it, and then I heard another people behind him. I'm like, that's that little beep. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's a lot. Move slow enough. You know, I mean, they might spot. 
watch it, but they didn't spot you good enough. And that was with that cow. I took a step and I saw she picked her head up and I stopped. And she just kind of stared. Couldn't really, you know, I had a background. Didn't really make me out. And sun behind and us. Yeah, wind in her favor. Yeah. And so she didn't bust out completely. Perfect setup. You called those cows at 30 oh, yards down. The cow was going out behind me and there's two more. And the I thought for sure he'd follow me. I had a boy in a whole different direction. He, he went clear up down the canyon. Yeah, the cow, that's why I stopped calling because I had the cow right behind me. Well, the other two were down here calling. And he started kind of following. And then those two cows went up to drop by themselves and he didn't even follow. Nope. That's he, he's up in, up in the corner. All right, well, let's get him. Six by six. I saw him up there. I knew where he was. Dude, that's, that's that bull that we had up there that came all the way around. He's right there. He's right up on the hill. Dude, he crashed. He crashed. Let's just give him Okay, I mean, 30 minutes, dude. Dude. We did it. That is why. What did I tell you? I had to come up this draw. We there were, was three draws to pick, and I'm like, yep. we're going to go on the far one because they're all going to meet in this one. Well, and just 45 minutes ago, we had a solid set up on a bull, and it just didn't work out. And, we heard them come up, we heard another bull, and they were just screaming at each other. And Justin's like, we gotta push up this draw, and we, we booked hustled. It, dude. I was Halfway up, we, I was getting fatigued. Each other. We're like, this is the final push, it's the last day. We have, after this packet, we'll have about 50 miles on. Oh, easy. Easy in the last five, yeah, six days. Yeah, coming up this draw, I was like, I turned at you, I rough. turned at you, and I was like, dude, I'm getting tired. <laughs> right. I mean, my muscles were just like, I couldn't lift my damn foot up any higher. But I knew, we, I knew this is where we had to be, because, you know. Dude. That is why. And just a couple cow calls, just. <sighs> To let him know we were down here. He and came crash. It I, was fast. I saw he him closed the there. distance from 70 yards to 15 yards in like oh, seconds. In seconds. And I, I don't think he really was coming to us. No. I think because there, he, th he heard a cow and then you he heard that bull. I think he was looking for a fight. Yep. Because there was another bull up there with him. <gasps> and I seen him kind of sparring. That little bull was a little smaller. But when, I, when you, did you hear that commotion up on the hill? Like, yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, this one kind of ran off that way. And then that's when he just beeline straight. I, saw, I looked down Dude. below the trees and I could just see he's him. He's in this trail. I shot him at like, Dude. not even 15 yards. No, Dude. Dude. I sh Dude, he was I shot him at like 12 yards. Dude, he was right here. This is where he come. Right here. Right there. That's where I smoked him. This is where he come. Yeah, Putting that, 
came right here. 10 yards. <laughs> I've been practicing 100 yards all summer. <laughs> Shoot bullet 10. Sweet. <laughs> Thanks so much, man. Yes. Through here. Oh, up there. I haven't seen your arrow, so. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a lot of good blood right there. Right there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he's got some character on him, too. Oh, wow. Look at the mass. Look at that. <laughs> Good bull, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, good fit. Look at those. <laughs> Look at those fits. Yep. Dude, and he's got this little unicorn splitter right there. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. That's a good 34 bull, dude. I mean, that is, you're not going to. Dude, look at his look royals. At his, look at his fifths, though. Look how I long his know. fifths are. Carries great mass all the way up. Yes. Got it. That is why we were passing. Seven bulls. by six. That is why we were passing. That's bulls. why you passed him. No, you drew it. Look at that shot. Dude. Yeah. Hammered him, dude. He is big. That is a big bull. Yep. Jeez. For unit 34. I mean, you're not. Fit her up is, in here. This is what you're, you know, looking for. Just a lot of a miles. Sweet, <laughs> sweet trophy. You know, pretty neat. But you know, we always we try to relate things back to right, you know, real life situations and. You know what, and you know we're both Christian guys, and we both know that you know what Jesus oh, did yeah. for us on the cross, and you know us having a place in heaven is, yeah, you know it doesn't replace any trophy like like this. It's a trophy, no, but not that at doesn't all. compare to, to what you know Jesus did for us. So no, there's no doubt that, that he was on our side this morning. We he gave kept, us that kept extra praying, 1%. just give us that one percent. I mean, we were. we were coming up this draw, and I'm like, please, Lord, just give me that one percent. That's all I'm asking for. Yep, just one percent, yep. and. Yeah.